Hi there. Today I'm going to show you how to attach a wedding tie patch onto a tie using needle and your hand sewing skill. So um, any beginners can do if you can thread a needle and tie a knot at the end. I'm sure you can hand sew the tie patch. So um, let's see. To start, I think you can decide on where you like to have the patch on the tie. You can have it up here if you like, or down here. It's really your personal preference. I'm going to sew it at the corner here because I like it. And um, see, I have a couple of tie patch here. It all, it's all going to work on traditional ties. See, there's a smaller one. Okay, so let's begin. I am going to tie a knot at the end of my needle. Obviously, if you are sewing a white patch, then you should be using white thread. If you're sewing a black patch, you should be using black thread. But right now, I'm going to show you how to sew it on using a dark color thread with the white patch so that you can see my stitches. Um, all right. So before we start, I'm going to show you how to make a stitch so that it doesn't show on the right side of the tie. So what you do is you're just going to pick up the first or the top layer of the tie. The tie is made of many layers. You see? And you just want to pick up this layer when you sew. And it's not going to touch the other one. If you go too deep, You can flip over, you can see the needle. That means the thread is going to show up on the right side of the tie. So what you need to do is you're just going to have to pick up just the top layer, about that amount, okay? And then you can check on this side. Just kind of practice putting your needle through and you can get a feel of how deep your needle can go before it touch the other side of the tie. All right, so let's start. I'm just going to pick, let's pick this one. I'm going to go bottom up to right at the very bottom of the tie, just like that just so that my knot is at the back. Place it on where you like it. What you can do is you can pin it in place so it doesn't go anywhere. Um, if you want to be careful or let me see if I can find a pin. I do have a lot of pin until, I'm, until I need it and I can't find it. Let me see if this works. Sure. So instead of using a pin, I'm just going to use this clip just to hold it in place. You really don't need to, but I'm just going to demonstrate. So once you have that in place, you can put another clip here if you like. All right, so the hard part is, well, it's not really hard, but this is where your sewing skill is going to kick in. Um, you go down on the tie patches, go next, right next to the border here. So you have a, right, a guide to follow through. Go down, and then here's where you pick up the top layer of the tie. And then you bring it back up, just right next to the thread border. Okay, 
see and then I'm checking if I get to the other side it's only the top layer because this layer is still loose and there's no thread showing pull your needle through and there you have it the first stitch okay and then just go around doing the same thing See that it picks the first layer and not the front of the tie. There you go. Any imperfection, they you won't see much because if you're using white thread, it's just going to blend in with the tie fabric, with the tie patch fabric anyway. There's your, my third stitch, still loose. You can see how the stitches are. Let's pull it, and then go all the way around. I actually don't need this clip, it just gets in the way. You can mix uh, smaller stitches if you like, but you know, if you don't plan to have this tie patch on permanently, longer stitch like this is fine. Okay, so we're at the end here. I should pull this taut. So to finish this off, I can do two more, one stitch or two. It's really up to you. I'm just going to do one stitch because I'm lazy. I'm just going to bring it right down to the bottom. Okay, and that's it. And then just because you have a little flap here, you can leave it. It doesn't matter. The tie patch is not going to fall out. But if you want to attach the bottom, just pick up a little bit of thread here. And then pull it. And just tie a knot. Well, I'm not going to tie a knot because, well, sure. I was going to take it out, but tie a knot. And use your scissor, cut it, just want to make sure I put my needle in the right place so I don't lose it. 
and there you have it. You can wear it in the front, you won't see anything. In the back, look how nice that is. Okay. Um, so when you're done, the wedding's over, and your dad wants to keep this tie patch, he wants to frame it next to your wedding picture with him. Um, you can take it out. Take it out is easy. You just have to kind of snip the stitch and then just start pulling it out. See how easy that is? What you can do is you can snip a little bit at a time, like a couple of stitches at a time. Pull it out. And there you have it. Your tie is, doesn't get damaged in any way. And you can return this to the rental place. And you keep this tie patch. You can frame it with your wedding picture with your dad. You know, put it next to the picture and frame it. It'll be really lovely, a great sentimental gift and souvenir, wedding favors. Your dad would cherish it for life. Okay, so I hope you enjoy my video. I hope that helps um, with a, knowing how to attach to the tie. And um, see you in Snuggahuck at Etsy. Thank you.